like it, Crispin. It's the wrong octave, boy. The wrong octave. Impressed, Crispin. It's losing dexterity. Come on, Crispin. No. It's all wrong, Crispin. Enough, Crispin. Enough. I've heard enough, Crispin. I do not want. No. Gentlemen, boys and girls, apparently the dreaded banjo. I should be taking it off him. So, Crispin, for this insubordination, Crispin, insubordination, Crispin, there's only one thing for it. It's time for you, Crispin, to sweep the chimney. But, sir, but, sir, I haven't a banjo. Crispin, give me the banjo. I haven't a brush, but Crispy, ha ha, you are the brush. <laughs> so ladies and gentlemen, that really was medieval corner for today. As you can see, the pendulum, it really is swinging too much in the favour of Crispy. <laughs> Enter 
The bold Crispin, the bold Crispin. Enter from the clock, the bold Crispin. Aha! Tis the bold Crispin! Crispin, I have good news, Crispin. If you, Crispin, behave today and do as required, there will be no chimney sweeping chores for Crispin because it's the summer. No need to light the fire. You know that it would be untrue. And you know that I would be a liar if I was to say to you, Crispin, you couldn't get much higher. Crispin, go and light my fire. Crispin, go and light the fire. And Crispin set the world on fire. No, Crispin, that's how the great fire of London started. We don't want that. And there's no need to light the fire, Crispin, because it is the summer. In the summertime, Crispin. Crispin, the summertime, as Mongo Jerry once said. In the summertime, Crispin, you cannot have a drink and have a drive and go out and see what you can find. No, 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 no. Crispin, do not listen to Mongo Jerry. He does not know. What he's talking about, although he hath the strength of ten. And I said, Crispin. I said, Crispin. He said, what? I said, Crispin. He said, what? I said, Crispin. He said, what do you want? I said, Crispin. No, 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 no. No, Crispin. You shall sing for your supper. Crispin shall sing for his supper. And Crispin. What did you say to me, Crispin? What did you say? You said, But sir, but sir, I cannot sing, for I have no choir. I said, But ah, but Crispin, you are the choir. So I taught Crispin to sing, because I can sing, it comes from there. And he comes from there, and he comes from here, and there, and everywhere. And I taught Crispin how to sing. Now, Crispin, come on, Crispin. You must sing a bottom G note, Crispin. Crispin, can you sing the G note, Crispin? Can you sing the G note? Crispin, I want you to sing it after three, Crispin. One, two, three. Quite impressive, Crispin. Crispin, can you do it again and hold the notes longer, Crispin? Hold the note longer. One, two, three, Crispin. Uh, and the D. Uh, I like the quiver, Crispin. I like the quiver on the voice, Crispin. Can you get the other G? Uh, oh, Crispy, now I know where Sutherland Brothers and Quiver got their name from. The light shines down the valley, the wind blows up the... No, anyway, Crispy, let's not go back to 1976, Crispy. Let's go back to 1886 instead. Now, Crispy, this is where it gets tricky for Crispy, you see. He must pass the test. Can he play the next G up? Oh, can Crispy play this G? Oh, that's very, very Crispy now. Crispy, do you remember the little exercise we did when I get when I got you to sing very, very high, Crispy? Very high. Indeed. You don't forget that little exercise, do you, Crispy? What did I do to make Crispin, Crispin sing hi? What did I do? I said, imagine Crispin, you're climbing the tallest chimney, the tallest chimney in London. And you go like this, Crispin. Okay, one, two, three, Crispin. Okay, Crispin, you're just crawling out of the chimney. You're at the 
top of Everest, Crispin. The top of Everest. Can you get the notes, Crispin? Can you get the notes?